I'd like to thank all of you for watching our final concert of the academic year for the WCU Wind Symphony. My name is Greg Martin, and I have the honor and privilege of standing before and working with these wonderful musicians each and every rehearsal. Making in-person music during this year marked by the pandemic has been challenging, to say the least. I want to thank the Dean of the Wells School of Music and the WCU administration for all the support they have provided. From the barriers you can see behind me to masks and bell covers for all the students, they never even hesitated or worried about the costs, indicative of their belief in the importance of the arts and student musicians to the university and community. However, it is the students who have given up so much this past year that I want to acknowledge and thank. To be able to participate in live ensemble music making, they have had to limit their lives, create bubbles, and restrict how many times and when they visited family and friends. Nothing short of a heroic effort. I want to publicly provide my most sincere appreciation and thanks to each and every one of them. And now, on to the performance. Our first piece will be conducted by the graduate conducting student and one of Pennsylvania's most accomplished high school band directors, Seth Jones. I will let him introduce the first piece. Hello, my name is Seth Jones. I am a graduate student in conducting at Westchester University. I also have the honor of serving as director of bands at Spring Ford High School in Montgomery County. Thank you to the students of the Wind Symphony for allowing me time to make music with you over the past few weeks. Kirkpatrick Fanfare was composed by Andrew Boyson in 1999 with its first performance in March of that year. It is a true fanfare with big brass figures, flashy solos, and the use of the Irish tune Danny Boy. Boyson composed the work as a commission for the Central Missouri State University to dedicate its James C. Kirkpatrick Library. Andrew Boyson is a professor of music and graduate coordinator at the University of New Hampshire. We hope you enjoy Kirkpatrick Fanfare by Andrew Boyson.
Vincent Persichetti is one of Pennsylvania's own. A native of Philadelphia, he taught composition at both Juilliard and the Philadelphia Conservatory. Among his many works for band, he wrote three chorale preludes, the first of which being So Pure the Star. Perhaps one of his least known and least performed, we would like to perform this moving work for you now. 